a week or so to go and I'm in a dilemma. Do I keep kicking a horse that is seemingly dead? Can't count on the smell. You were stinking up Texas and your EEG flatline by your 20th, I've said. So I'm not holding my breath till you're hiding in Paraguay, chopping down shrubs, the one job for which you do qualify. For 15 years now, I've been watching, read your history, and I gotta ask, how's it feel having the New World Order sticking their arm up? so far up your mannequin's task. I know I get upset when somebody suggests that I've spoken a falsehood, or such they imply, but to live a career devoted to treason with every third sentence a demonstrable lie? How's it feel looking up at the slime in a cesspool, when you're laying alone in your drug-addled head? Are you wishing for the strength and the courage to end it? For you know, and I know, the world would be better off if you'd been born dead. So. Is it time now to set my sights on the other, the soon to be playing the president's role? Although in general the empire continues, our votes do influence those in control. When enough of us shout and in protest strike, we have tempered the evil and slowed down by obstruction. Satanic designs bring nothing but blight, playing hell with the devil's intent on destruction. I never figured I'd be here to see the rivers of Babylon flowing with blood, or watch my own government pay for the Zion-inspired slaughter of innocents, and under false flags of terror, drag our name through the mud and from mercy turning away. Six billion dollars of blood money each year going to a cause that we are goyim to support a bloody ritual sacrifice. It's another burnt offering by the survivors of the German Holocaust, performed with weapons, sold to them by our arms merchants, paid for with our tax dollars. That's, it's, women and children is who they really are killing. It is genocide. Now, into the circle five.